close your eyes. Imagine you're holding a time machine camera. You point it at the darkest patch of sky. Click. When you open your eyes, the photo shows galaxies older than Earth itself. Stars that died billions of years ago. Planets with skies of molten sand. This isn't science fiction. It's exactly what the James Webb Telescope has been doing since 2021. And in just two years, it's exposed five cosmic secrets so shocking, they're rewriting science textbooks, like the universe's baby photo that breaks physics, a hell planet where it rains lava at night, and a discovery so alien, it's forcing NASA to reconsider everything we know about life. Buckle up, we're diving into Webb's wildest finds and why the universe just got way stranger. Chapter 1. Galaxies that defy time. Picture yourself holding the ultimate time machine, not some sci-fi device, but an actual photograph from the James Webb Space Telescope. The image shows what looks like a modern spiral galaxy, with elegant arms swirling around a bright core. Now imagine being told this galaxy existed when the universe was just 2% of its current age. That's like finding a fully formed adult in a photograph of the maternity ward. This exact scenario is what has astronomers questioning everything they know about cosmic evolution. When Webb focused on a patch of sky no larger than a grain of sand held at arm's length, it revealed six massive galaxies in the early universe that simply shouldn't exist. These cosmic behemoths contain hundreds of billions of stars, all crammed into a space that, according to our current understanding of physics, hadn't had enough time to form such structures. The most shocking of these, a galaxy dubbed GLASSZ13, appears to have existed just 300 million years after the Big Bang, yet looks as mature as our Milky Way. But the real jaw-dropper came when researchers noticed something lurking in these galaxies' cores, supermassive black holes that are far too large for their cosmic age. One particular black hole, found in galaxy CEERS 1019, weighs in at a staggering 10 million times the mass of our Sun. Normally, black holes need billions of years to grow this large through gradual feeding. Finding one this size in the universe's infancy is like discovering a five-year-old child who's already completed college. This discovery has sparked what astronomers are calling the crisis in cosmology. Three competing theories have emerged to explain these impossible galaxies. The Big Bang happened much earlier than we thought, giving the universe more time to develop these structures. Dark matter, the invisible glue holding galaxies together, behaved completely differently in the early universe. Our fundamental understanding of how stars and galaxies form is fundamentally flawed. Some theorists have proposed an even more radical idea. What if these aren't galaxies at all? The bizarre light patterns could be evidence of primordial black holes from the universe's birth, or even ripples in space-time itself from the moment of creation. As Dr. Erica Nelson of the University of Colorado put it, we're either seeing something completely new about galaxy formation, or we're glimpsing physics beyond our current theories. Here's where it gets personal. If these galaxies truly exist as we're seeing them, it means the universe could create complex structures far faster than we imagined. This changes how we understand our own Milky Way's origins and, by extension, the chain of events that led to our Sun, our Earth and, ultimately, to you watching this video right now. And if you think that's shocking, wait until you see what Webb discovered about a planet where the clouds are made of vaporized rock and it rains molten lava at night. But that's a story for next chapter. Chapter 2 – The Planet Where It Rains Lava Imagine stepping outside on a planet where the temperature hits 2,500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to vaporize steel. The sky isn't blue, but a hazy orange from vaporized rock floating in the atmosphere. And when night falls, the clouds literally rain lava. This isn't a science fiction horror movie, it's K2141b, 
A real planet 200 light years away that Webb revealed in terrifying detail. When Webb turned its infrared gaze toward this super Earth, scientists expected to find what most lava worlds have, a molten surface and maybe some metallic vapor. What they actually saw rewrote the book on extreme planets. An atmosphere of vaporized rock, mostly silicon monoxide, winds reaching 5,000 kilometers per hour, faster than a bullet, a permanent dayside lava ocean 100 kilometers deep, and most chilling, lava precipitation cycles on the night side. How lava rain works. Here's the nightmare fuel. The day side, always facing its star, heats to 3,000 degrees Celsius, vaporizing rock into gas. Supersonic winds blast this vapor to the freezing night side, minus 200 degrees Celsius. The gas condenses into lava droplets and falls as rain, only to be swept back to the day side by winds and melted again. It's a closed loop of destruction, like hell's own water cycle. Webb's most shocking find, the 1,200 degrees Celsius difference between day and night sides, the most extreme ever measured. This creates constant rock-shattering shockwaves across the planet. As Dr. Jiang Nguyen, lead researcher, put it, this isn't just a lava world, it's a planetary-scale forge. K2141b proves that even the most hostile worlds can develop complex atmospheric chemistry. If rock can vaporize, circulate, and rain, what else is possible? Some theorists now suggest diamond rain on colder planets. Webb may have spotted this too. Molten metal oceans on worlds with iron atmospheres, lava tornadoes on planets with even wilder temperature swings. Here's what keeps astronomers up at night. We've found hundreds of lava worlds. If K2141b is typical, the galaxy might be full of these apocalyptic planets and we're just starting to understand their bizarre physics. But Webb's most unsettling discovery isn't about galaxies or lava worlds. It's about chemicals for life appearing where they shouldn't. And it might force NASA to redefine what alien life could look like. Chapter 3 chemistry where life shouldn't exist. Imagine a frozen wasteland where temperatures plunge to minus 200 degrees Celsius, a place so hostile even bacteria shouldn't survive. Now imagine Webb telescopes spotting the building blocks of life there. This isn't hypothetical, it's happening right now on Enceladus, Saturn's icy moon, and it's forcing scientists to rewrite the rules of biology. When Webb analyzed the plumes shooting from Enceladus's subsurface ocean, it detected phosphates, essential for DNA, at concentrations 500 times higher than Earth's oceans, ammonia, a potential energy source for life, organic molecules complex enough to form amino acids. Here's the problem. Enceladus has no sunlight, no volcanoes, no surface chemistry. By all known rules, this moon should be dead. Yet the chemistry screams, life could be here. The leading theory, alkaline hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. On Earth, similar vents create white smokers that pump out hydrogen-rich fluids, perfect for fueling microbes. Webb's data suggests Enceladus's vents might be even more efficient at brewing life's ingredients. As Dr. Christopher Glein, SWRI, put it, we're looking at a cosmic chemistry set that's been running for a billion years. Webb found these same organic molecules in places even less hospitable, in asteroid belts where radiation should destroy them, on rogue planets floating alone in interstellar space, in protoplanetary disks around stars too young for planets. This means the ingredients for life might be universally common, but the real mystery is why we don't see more actual aliens. The implications that scare scientists. If life's building blocks form this easily in icy moons and deep space, life could be everywhere, just not how we imagine it. Earth's life might have originated in Enceladus-like environments. We may need to redefine what habitable even means. 
NASA's Europa Clipper 2024 and ESA's JUICE will test Webb's findings by tasting Europa's plumes for similar chemistry, mapping the seafloor for hydrothermal activity, searching for actual microbes in the ice grains. Coming in Chapter 4, but Webb's most controversial discovery isn't about chemistry, it's about something massive lurking in the shadows of our solar system, and it might explain ancient human myths about a phantom planet. Chapter 4 – The Shadow at the Edge of Our Solar System Imagine our solar system as a dark room. For centuries, we've only seen what the Sun illuminates – planets, asteroids, comets. But now, JWST has turned off the lights and spotted something moving in the shadows. Something big, something that shouldn't be there. This isn't just a new planet. It's evidence that our cosmic neighborhood has been hiding secrets since the beginning. In 2023, JWST's infrared eyes detected unexplained gravitational tugs on Kuiper Belt objects, a heat signature 20 times farther than Neptune, an orbital path that suggests a Mars-sized object. The most shocking part, whatever this is, it's invisible to normal telescopes. Only JWST can see it because it's not reflecting sunlight. It's emitting ancient heat from its formation. Is this Planet 9? The data matches exactly what astronomers predicted for Planet X. Mass, 5 to 10 times Earth. Orbit, 20,000 year cycle around the Sun. Composition, possibly a rogue planet captured by our Sun. But here's where it gets weird. JWST's readings suggest this object is warmer than it should be. Some theorists whisper, could it have active geology, volcanic eruptions in deep space? Now for the truly mind-blowing part. This potential planet's orbit aligns with Sumerian texts describing Nibiru, Mayan astronomy, that referenced a dark star, Native American oral histories of a sun-stealing object coincidence. Maybe, but as Dr. Michael Brown, Caltech, admits, we're either seeing a planet or realizing ancient cultures knew something we didn't. The three possibilities, a frozen super-Earth, a failed gas giant core glowing faintly with radioactive heat, a primordial black hole, a grapefruit-sized singularity warping nearby space, something else entirely, an object so exotic we don't even have physics for it yet. Why this changes everything. If confirmed, this discovery would prove our solar system is bigger than we thought, suggest planet formation models are incomplete, force us to reconsider every ancient myth about shadow worlds NASA's Roman Space Telescope 2027 will join JWST in the hunt. If they find it, we could have direct images within two years. Until then, the astronomy world remains divided between it's there and it can't be. We've lived our entire lives thinking we knew our solar system. JWST just proved we've been missing a giant piece of the puzzle, one that might have been hiding in plain sight for millennia. In just two years, the James Webb Telescope has shown us galaxies too old to exist, planets where it rains lava, and now ghosts hiding in our own solar system. But here's what truly terrifies me. This is just the beginning. Every week, Webb peers deeper, and the universe keeps revealing how little we understand. So subscribe now, because when Webb finally photographs that shadow world, or detects alien oceans, or breaks physics again, you'll be there when science rewrites itself.